In this last example, we're going to convert a base 10 number to a different base, base 7, and um, but not by the, the long division process we just had done. We are going to do it in the calculator. I think it's important to see both ways because I feel like the division process we just went over, which is up here, is um, quite lengthy and we can see as we get larger numbers in base 10, the division process will get become lengthier and lengthier. So let's go ahead and this is the part that takes the longest, right? So what we can do in example 215 is use the calculator and that replaces that long division process with the calculator so it can go by a little quicker. So let's go ahead and start. So the first step is always going to be the first step. That will never change. You're always going to look for what is the largest power of the base, so 7, that divides into the base 10 number, which is 4,509. Okay, so if we do that, we know that 7 squared might be too small and 7 cubed, but we can go ahead and try to do 7 cubed, 7 to the 4th, and then 7 to the 5th. I'm thinking it's one of those, definitely, and we're looking for one of these to be the closest to 4,509. So let's go to the calculator, 7 to the 3rd, 7 to the 4th, and 7 to the 5th. Okay, so we can see that 7 to the 5th is too large, and 7 to the 4th going to be the closest to 4509. So the largest power of 7 that divides into 4509 would be the 4th power. And so therefore, 343 would be too low, and 2401 is where we would go, and 16807 would be too large. So here, notice we have 7 to the 4th power. So if I drew my place value table, this part doesn't change, because I still, no matter what process I use, I still need to find pl uh, digits for each place value from 7 to the 4th all the way to the 1's place. So here is the table. So no matter what, as we know, we have to find digits for every single one of these place values. So th this whole first process is the same. And again, we're only replacing that second part with the long division with the calculator so that it's much faster. So let's go ahead and start that process here, to the part two. So we'll go ahead and start division process. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and take the base 10 number that was given to us and divide it by that largest power of 7. So 7 to the 4th. And we'll get some number before the decimal, right, decimal and some other number. So this part behind the decimal is going to act as our remainder. So this remainder here will be the, in the next step, just like the long division process, except it'll all be on the calculator and we're just going to like exercise our fingers. But the first step is always the same. We always take the base 10 number and divide it by this largest power, right, the largest power and then the base. Okay, and then after that, what when we take our remainder here, we can go ahead and multiply by the base. And that will equal some number with a remainder behind the decimal. 
Now notice we'll have some whole parts here and if we do, again, we'll just subtract it and then that way we're just left with the remainder for the next part. But these numbers here that come before the decimal belong here as the digits. Now sometimes we get a zero, that's great, then we won't put any, we'll put zero there because they're still significant. But again, the calculator, what you're really essentially doing is reading off the calculator. And we continue this process until your remainder is zero. Okay, and then you can stop. So let's start it with this one. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the base 10 number, which is 4509, and divide it by the base with the largest power, which is 7 to the 4th. Okay, so if I do that, let me put it in the calculator. Let me clear this out. And I'll put 4509 divided by 7 to the 4th. So I can see this is going to be 1.8779 dot dot dot. So here we see the 1 before the decimal. That is going to be the place value that corresponds to 7 to the 4th. And the digit that belongs is going to be 1. OK, so now let's take the remainder part, which is the part after the decimal, which is 0.8779 dot 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 and multiply it by the base. Now, again, not based to any power. It's just the only, this is the difference, is that first step of division is the same, but now it starts to change. This is the fast part. This is how your calculator is kind of useful, right? Where now just take this remainder, multiply by the base. Remainder, base, remainder, base, remainder, base. And whatever comes before that decimal, whether it's a zero or a digit between zero and six, then that's what you put here. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, notice in my calculator, I have the whole number that was up here. In order to get the remainder, I have to subtract this whole part. So let me just subtract it in the calculator. There's the remainder. Let's multiply it by 7. And we get 6.1457 dot dot dot. OK, so now it once again, the number before the decimal corresponds to the next place value over. So now I have this corresponds to um, this next place value. The number before the decimal goes as the digit in that place value. Great. Now this is the remainder, 0 0.1457 dot dot dot. Let's multiply that again by 7 and see what that equals. Well, if we come over here, our number in the calculator is that 6 point. So let me subtract this whole part. And then I get that remainder and multiply it by 7. So now I get 1.0204 dot dot dot. So now I can see that this place value, so this is, we could say this place value corresponds to the 7 squared, and the number before the decimal corresponds to the 7 squared place value. And notice I have a remainder still, so I'm not at, I'm not at remainder 0. I'm going to continue this process until I get 0 over here. So this will be the remainder, which is 0 0.0204 dot dot dot. Multiply it by 7. So over here, notice I still have the 1 in the calculator. So let me subtract that whole part to get the remainder by itself and multiply it by 7. So I get 0 0.1428 dot dot dot. Now this next one... Let's go over here, like an orange. This 7 corresponds to the 7's place. 
notice that in the sevens place, there's a zero before the decimal here, right? So this means that zero belongs in that place value in the sevens place. Now, the next part should be the end, right? Because I can't go anymore. The remainder has to be zero because I have to have only the ones place left. So if I just take this remainder here, 0.1428 dot dot dot, and multiply it by seven, I may get some number, but that that those numbers after the decimal should be zero, right? So um, notice there's no whole part, so I can go directly and multiply by seven. And sure enough, look at that, I get one. There's no one point nothing, right? So it's just one. And if I wanted to write see a decimal, I could write 1.00, dot, 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 right? If I really wanted to. But let's see, I'll use a different color. Um, let's use purple. Oops. And therefore, um, the digit that belongs here to the ones place is one. And notice that there is no remainder. And I stop. And I want to, because I know I'm at the ones place at this point. And so the answer here, one, two, uh, three I, is um, write the base seven number. So it would be one, six, one, zero, one in base seven. So 16,101 in base seven is equivalent to 4,500 nine in base 10. And so the you can see that the process can be quite much quicker than when we did this long division process in the previous video. Um, again, the first part is always the same, right? You find that largest power of the base and have that little place value and digit table. So no matter what, you're always trying to find that large, that divisor, that first divisor, that largest power of the base that goes into the base 10 number. And once you find it, then draw your table and know that you're going to have to fill in every digit from that largest power of the base all the way down to the ones place. You can use the calculator to start that process, right? The first step is always the same but then to just take the remainders and multiply by the base. So notice we don't use those place value powers anymore. We only had used it once for that initial largest power of the base. Other than that, you just keep multiplying the remainders by seven until you get this remainder of zero. And all these whole parts are the digits in um, each place value descending from left to right.